Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you to make this little lipstick charm. This design is by Kaylee Cross from Facebook and it's super easy to do. So if you have not tried crocheting with your loom bends, the Lumugurumi style, please do check this out. There's only a few rounds, little amount of bands to go through and um, it's a one piece design. These are the colors that I'll be doing today so it's going to look exactly like this one. This one is the Rainbow Loom metallic gold bands in case you were wondering. You're going to need a little bit of stuffing and I am going to be using my loom to start us off on the magic ring. So I do hope you enjoy and let's get started. For round one I'm going to start off with the red color. So whatever color that you're using for the tip, that's what I'm going to be starting out with. We're, we are going to do seven single crochets in our magic ring. So total I'll be using eight bands. I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom, so turn your loom upside down, and you're going to take a single band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, three. Now you're going to bring seven bands through, one at a time. Put your hook in as if you're going to do a slip knot. So you're going to bring your band through, put the other end on your hook, and you're going to bring this one loop over and bring it to the side. Go back in, bring your second band through on your hook and you'll have three loops. Bring these two bands over the one at the end and bring it to the side. Go back in and just repeat two bands over. Back in, two bands over bring it to the side. Back in, two bands over, bring it to the side. Go back in, grab your next, this is your sixth band, bring your two loops over and you're going to bring it to the side and go back in for your seventh band. Bring your two loops over and this is where you want to attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook. You can remove off the loom, put your loom to the side, and just move your bands around nicely, and you should have seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on your hook. For rounds two, three, four, and five, you're just going to repeat. You're going to do a single crochet stitch in each chain around. So you're just going to add one band to each chain. Each of my piles I have seven bands so at the end of each round you will have seven stitches. I'm going to do round two and three with you and then you're going to pause to do rounds four and five and come back to me when you're done. It's up to you if you do separate the bands if you want to use a stitch marker. I'm not going to be using it after this round because I have my bands organized but I will tell you where to add it and when to move it. So you're going to go in your first stitch and you're going to bring one band through that stitch, put the other end on your hook, you'll have the three loops and you're just going to slide. We're going to move on to our second stitch, bringing a single band through the stitch on your hook and then slide. The next stitch on your hook and side. The next stitch. So you're going to go all the way till you hit your stitch marker. On your hook and side. The next. And the next. You're going to see that it's starting to curl and you should still have seven stitches. Never count where your stitch marker is. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on your hook. This is where you want to remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. I'm not going to use it because it's quite small. So when you're going to start again, make sure you don't start where it's being pulled. You're going to start in your first chain and you're going to bring one band through on your hook and you're just repeating one band 
in each chain. So that would be two. So this is my third stitch with my third band and you're just continuing around. So you'd want to move your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. You should have seven stitches and just please pause the video and complete round four and five and come back to me when you're done. This is what you should have so far. Now I'm going to change color. I'm going to use a gold color and I'm going to add one band to each chain around. So I have seven bands and you should have seven stitches. So I'm going to go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and I'm going to bring one band through. Because I'm changing color, I'm going to bring it through all of the loops that are on my hook so we have a nice round when we're done. Grab the end and side, kind of like a slip knot. You're going to go in your next chain, bring your next band through, but you're going to claim it on your hook and slide through. Your next stitch, you're gonna bring your band through on your hook, these bands are sticky, and slide through. Your next stitch, you're just gonna do this all the way till you hit your stitch marker, and slide. The next stitch, The next, and your last. So you should still have seven stitches. Don't count where your C-clip is, your stitch marker. You're not going to count this little knot here, that's your slip knot. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on your hook. This is where you'd want to remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. This is small, so I'm not going to be using it. For round seven, I'm going to change to black now, and I'm going to increase to make this round bigger. At the end of round seven, you're going to have 11 stitches. So the pattern is two bands in the first chain, then one in the next. You're going to repeat two, one, two, one, and where your stitch marker is, or your last, you're going to be adding two bands. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go on my first chain, which is right here, not your little knot, and I'm going to bring my first band through, I'm changing color through all of the bands that are on my hook, grab the end, and slide. Go back in that same chain to add your second band. On your hook, three loops inside. Moving on to the next chain, we're just adding one band. On your hook, and side. We're going to repeat the pattern so your next chain will have two bands, one at a time. Go back in. And you're going to repeat one band in the next chain, two bands in the next, back in, and you're going to repeat one more time, one band and my last chain with two bands. One, back in, that same chain, adding my second band, and you should have 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 is on your hook. This is where you'd want to remove your stitch marker and add it to the band. For rounds eight, 9 and 10, 
You're just going to single crochet, so adding one band to each chain around. One, 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 all the way around. Each pile I have 11 bands. I'm going to do rounds 8 with you, and then you're going to pause and just do the same thing for rounds 9 and rounds 10. So going in my first chain, I'm going to bring one band through that chain, put the end on my hook, and side. The next chain with one. At the end of each round, you should have 11 stitches. So just continue going around. This is where you'd want to remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's on your hook. And now you're going to repeat for rounds 9 and 10 and then come back to me when you're done. For round 11, I'm going to use 11 bands and we're just going to single crochet in each chain around but using the back loops only. So I'm going to show you in the chain, each chain, you have a front loop which is facing you and a back loop which is facing out. I'm going to bring a single band through the back loops only. So just put your hook through the, band, the little loop that's further away from you and you're going to bring a band through. So you're just bringing it through one of the loops there. So if I go to my next chain, I'm going to put my hook through the center of the loops and just grab the outside one. Normally we would just grab both, but this time I'm going to go in the center and just grab the one that's on the outside. You're going to do that to each chain around, going through the center of the chain and just hooking on to the back one. Do this all the way till you hit your stitch marker. Through the center, back loop only And the last one. You should still have 11 stitches. You can remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Before we start round 12, we're gonna add a little bit of stuffing inside. You're gonna measure kind of by looking at the side. You only want to have as much stuffing as you see black or the bottom part of the lipstick. So I know that this is gonna be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna try out with this. We are gonna pull some of the stuffing up at the end um, to the tip of the lipstick when we're done. When you're putting it in, just make sure that you're not seeing all the white stuffing, then you know you have too much. So if you move it around like this, and you're not really seeing it, then you know that you're good. We're going to close this off now, so I'm going to use six bands, and I'm going to grab one and two together. I'm going to do that six times. So, starting not in the chain where it's being pulled, I'm going to grab chains one, and chains two, and stitch together. I have both ends on my hook, and slide. You're going to repeat chains one and chains two and stitch together. Again, 
one and two, and stitch together. Make sure that you're holding the stuffing down with your thumb there, and repeat one and two together. Repeat one and two together. You're going to remove your stitch marker. You still have a bit of an opening, so we're going to grab this one and two together, and we're going to do a slip knot with this last band. So remove your stitch marker, and you're going to grab the next two chains and stitch together. Bring your band through all of the loops that are on your hook. We're going to do a slip knot and tie closed. This is what it should look like. What I'm going to do now is with my hand, my hook, I'm going to go in the, kind of the side, just anywhere that you like to go, and I'm going to pull some of that stuffing that we see in the bottom up. So with my hook, I'm just going to gently pull some towards the top. Make sure you don't come outside of the holes with the stuffing. I'm going to move it around and go to a next opening and pull some up. Now we have this empty spot at the bottom, so you're going to do the same thing by going through the bottom and pulling some down. Now I'm going to fix the top. I'm going to bend it, and I probably could use a little bit more stuffing at the top here because it's empty without pulling it out. And you're going to bend it. We're going to flatten the bottom. Move it around. And I'm going to hide this slip knot. So I'm going to go through the side. I'm going to grab that slip knot coming right, right beside. And I'm going to bring it inside. I'm not good at hiding slip knots whatsoever. I'm going to go through another hole and grab that slip knot. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed Looming with Cheryl. Please subscribe down below. I have a lot more designs to load and I'll see you next time with another. Bye for now.